Climate change is impacting Palau. Extreme weather events such as typhoons, storm surge, persistent and prolonged rainfall, and drought damage Palau's community assets and ecosystems. This affects Palau's agriculture sector. It threatens taro cultivation, compromising food production and security. Palau's climate change policy framework seeks to build resilient communities. A resilient community is one that is food secure. For Palau, this means reviving inactive masay or taro patches. Taro patches are important to Palauans. Taro is a high value food crop. Cooked taro contains protein, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, fiber, 10 minerals, and 11 vitamins. It is a key component of numerous cultural practices, including childbirth, chiefly ceremonies, house buying ceremonies, funerals, and many more. A fully functioning taro patch system ensures healthy watersheds. Irrigation techniques found in the taro patches slow down water flow. Sediment settles in the waterways instead of flowing out to the rivers and reefs. Patricia Franz and Claire, a principal school in Longui, a assistant time, a active principal in Margong Active, Master Abse, Master Mariel, and Amse. Functioning taro patches are a source of income for many women of Palau. They are also ethno-botanical banks, consisting of taro varieties found nowhere else in the world, as well as numerous medicinal plants for all forms of healing. <laughs> Lorong 
ma cuc diferența nu are lucra, sau ira cuc a cuc cei del mortir. Ma sa vreau să vângel ambasador, e orti, mangal ma sa mal no, ma dangel mu mal bering la relel tel omul masera, rubelira dira pe la. We are very happy, the United States government, through the USAID organization, to partner with the Palau Conservation Society to work toward doing all of this for the uh, food security, health, and, sus and sustainability of Palau and the people of Palau. And we all know that the old ways, the traditional ways, are best. And here we have an opportunity to see that in action because we see the people, the masters who know how to cultivate the cacao, the taro, to see the children learning how to do it and cultivating it with them, then we know this is a lesson, this is a project that will be sustainable and that's what we hope. We want the people of Palau to have good health, to carry on their traditions, to learn from the masters and then to teach their children and their grandchildren. So today I spent uh, the opportunity getting muddy, getting muddy and sweaty with the people who know exactly how to cultivate and I was able to harvest and to learn how to wash, to clean and to then cut. And the best thing I think about, not about this um, crop is not just how healthy it is, but that it just keeps going. You cut off the, the top portion and you plant it again and it just keeps going. It's just so wonderful. So thank you, all of you people of Palau, for sharing the, these lessons with me, for showing me how it's done, for allowing me to get muddy with you and to learn all about um, this cacao crop. So thank you and keep going because this is wonderful and pass it on to your children. I hope you will. Thank you. Thank you. Lunch program, ang so dal diya ko lola ay gidal gugong yung labalul. Ito yung gidal ng algas ilit mo tin mong mail me. Maliok lang partra lunch mo isa hindi. So well, oh. Cultivated taro patches underpin our food, economic, and environmental security. Let us build community climate resilience by cultivating all taro patches in Palau. Thank you.